Hi kids, we're here for another lesson in comparing and ordering fractions. This time it's greater than, less than, equal to. So you can see that we have two thirds and five eighths on the board. We're going to begin by um, finding the least common denominator to give these a common denominator to compare. We're going to start off with our bigger number, which is eight. And let's list the first five multiples of eight. So here we go. Eight times one is eight. Eight times two is 16. 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 4 is 32, 8 times 5 is 40. Now we're going to be listing the multiples of 3. Now here is the nice thing. We can stop when we find a number that matches, the lowest number that matches any of the numbers up here. So let's see how long it takes us. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15, we don't have a match yet, 3 times 6 is um, 18, 3 times 7 is 21, 3 times 8 is 24, and ding, 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 we have found the least common denominator. We also found my cat, get down. Get down, get down. Sorry, we're gonna keep going though, even with uh, even with Dusty on here. He's crawling around my, my at-home classroom here. All right, so we know that the common denominator is 24. So we're gonna go to each side right here and have, uh, we have 24. So we are going to look and we know that eight times three is 24. So five times three is 15. Let's come over here. We can kind of work backwards. We can say three times eight is 24, or 20, 24 divided by eight is three. So let's go three times eight is 24. Two times eight is 16. So this is a very, very close call on here. So let's look, which one has the bigger numerator? because right now we're looking at the numerators, 15 and 16. We know that 16 is bigger than 15, so 16 24 or 2 thirds is bigger, greater than 5 eighths. We can check this with our manipulatives. We had 5 eighths, 1, 2, 3, four, five eighths. And we said that two thirds was slightly bigger than that. So if we are correct, our two thirds should completely cover the five eighths. It should show that it's bigger. So let's see, we have one third and two thirds does completely cover. It is slightly larger. Then our five eighths. Cool. Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret on how to check your work in one of these problems. What you can do is take two times eight and you get, of course, what we had right here, 16. And then you can take three times five and you get 15 and you have your bigger number still, 16, your answer is right. Great job today, two thumbs up.